Welcome to our virtual junior day visit. My name is Nat Clark. I'm the head football coach here at Huston University. We are all extremely excited to show you all that we have to offer here at Huston. Huston is a great place filled with many great people. It starts with our players, our coaches, and includes our talented faculty and staff. The single greatest characteristic of any successful program is the amount of people who care. This program and this campus care. We hope you enjoy this virtual day visit, and we look forward to having you here in person on campus very soon. We hope your family and friends are safe and well, and we look forward to meeting you. I'm Coach Nat Clark, head football coach here at Huston University. I'm from Bangor, Maine. Same location as Huston. Um, I'm a graduate of the University of Maine with a master's degree. And in 2020, uh, this will be my 15th season at Husson as an assistant and as the head coach. Now I'd like to add, uh, introduce Dan Brainerd, our offensive coordinator. Go ahead, Dan. I'm Dan Brainerd. I'm the offensive coordinator and quarterbacks coach here. Uh, I'm from Owego, New York, which is a small town located in upstate New York. I went to Hartwick College and graduated there with a bachelor's degree in mathematics in 2012. Um, currently, I've been at Husson for two years. This coming fall will be my third season. Uh, my name is Peyton Hobbs, defensive coordinator and defensive backs coach here at Husson University. And I'm from Middlebury, Vermont. I played at Castleton University and I graduated there in 2014. In addition, I graduated from Ottawa University in Kansas in 2016. Uh, this is my first year at Husson and I'm very excited to get going. This is AJ McLaughlin. I'm the defensive line coach here at Husson University. Uh, I'm originally from Dexter, Maine, which is a small town not far from Bangor. I'm also a graduate of Huston University. Uh, I got my master's degree here. Uh, this fall will be my fourth season here at Huston. Okay, I'm now gonna introduce a couple members of our coaching staff. The first one is uh, Ed Mysteri. Ed's from Wareham, Mass originally. He uh, graduated from Springfield College and got his master's from Norwich. Uh, Ed coaches our linebackers here at Huston. And in 2020, it's gonna be Ed's sixth season with us. Ed's a former head coach at Colby College and that uh, brings just a, a vast knowledge of, of football. The next part-time coach is Nate Carrion. Uh, Nate's from Winslow, Maine. He's a graduate of Husson University. Uh, he coaches our running backs here at Husson. Uh, in 2020, he'll be his seventh season with the staff, uh, and he's the former head football coach at Mount Blue High School here in Maine, and brings with him a, a wealth of knowledge at the high school and college level. Our staff bro uh, breakdown is, is simple. We have 10 coaches. Uh, five full-time, myself, Coach Brainerd, Coach Hobbs, Coach McLaughlin. Uh, right now, uh, we're in the process of hiring a full-time coach that will give us five. And normally, uh, each given year, we'll have five part-time coaches. And we're also in the process right now of uh, selecting those coaches as we prepare for the 2020 season. First, I'd like to start with, with the history of Huston football. And this program was started in 2003. The fall of 2020 will be our 18th season of football. So in the football tradition, we're, we're relatively a new, a new program. We compete in the Commonwealth Coast Football Conference. In 2020, will be our second season. Our past history, we, you know, we started in 2003 as an independent. We went to the ECFC, had a lot of success in that conference, and now we're transitioning to the Commonwealth Coast. We have 120 players from all over the country and beyond. In fact, we have two international players at this time. We have played in the postseason six times in our 18-year history, including five out of the last six years. Hustle football is a culturally diverse program. We take great pride in providing each team member a safe place to learn and play. Expectations are high here at Hustle, on the field, off the field, and in every aspect of your life. If you're someone who wants to have high expectations, who wants to be successful, our program could be a great fit for you. I don't think you could talk about our history and tradition without talking about Coach Gabby Price. He founded our program in 2002. He founded this program with three basic objectives, and we still use those today. Number one, 
We want all our players to be quality people. We are all responsible and accountable for our actions. We want all our actions that affect Huston University and our football program to be positive. The second objective we found our program on is we want all our players to earn a degree. Education is why we are all here and it's our highest priority. The single greatest day is when our players walk across the stage and earn the degree. And the third objective is we want all our players to grow as athletes. If we developed effort, passion, discipline, and the team concept as important values in our program, we will have a winning attitude and we will have winning teams. We thank Coach Price for all he's done for this program and he continues to do. He's still active on our campus here. He'll be at practices, he'll be at games, and from time to time, he'll break down the team. We will continue that tradition that he started here in 2002. The number one goal for all our student athletes here at Husson is, is to receive a diploma from Husson University. I'm gonna take a few minutes here to talk about our academic overview. The biggest thing we do here in academic support of our Husson football athletes is our academic mentoring. Our mentoring program is pretty simple. We match up each of our first year athletes with one of our full-time coaches. And they are required each week to meet with our full-time coach to go over their grades, their plans for the week, and anything that's bothering them at the time. We have great support here at Husson. We have the Center for Academic Success. We have a great tutoring center. In fact, part of your study hall requirement here to be on the Husson football team is to go to the tutoring center one time per week in your first semester. We have some great faculty and staff here who also tutor and spend time with our players. Our number one goal for all our players is to get a degree from Husson, whether it be a four-year degree, whether it be a master's, or even a doctorate if they are in the PT program. We take great pride in this. Our number one goal for all our athletes is that they get a college degree. That's what it's all about. All right, guys, I just want to take a little bit of time and talk about our strength and conditioning program here at Husson. You know, here in our program, we, can, we consider the strength and conditioning program one of the building blocks uh, of Husson football. Um, you know, the weight room builds a team, not only physically, obviously building your body up and making you stronger, but also mentally and emotionally, just being down in that weight room, uh, working with your brothers every single day uh, and, and, you know, grinding and, and working hard towards a common goal. We consider at Husson the weight room, the first day of the weight room is actually the first day to our new season. Uh, so it doesn't start, you know, when we get to camp uh, in fall, in August, right? The first day of our new season starts in November, all right? After our current season ends, the first day we get in that weight room. Okay, uh, as far as our program philosophy goes, lifting wise, uh, we use a progressive overload theory. And what that is, is it just means we're, we're periodically adding weight over time. Uh, we're gonna add weight and, and build up our weight over time. And to expand on that a little bit more, our program is based on uh, our core lifts. And, and what we consider the core lifts here at Husson are the hand clean, the push press or the split jerk, uh, back squat, front squat, bench, and incline bench. Uh, so every one of our workouts will contain one of those core lifts. And then we'll also supplement those lifts with some different type of supplemental movements and, and other lifts uh, for other areas that, that'll really build uh, you know, the entire program up together. And everything we do is a functional lift for football. And that's why we do it. And that's why we have these core lifts. Uh, one key point of emphasis of our lifts and, and our strength and conditioning program is, is pace. So you're always going to hear us talking about pace, going fast. We lift in stations, group stations. So these core lifts are separated into the different stations. And what it is, is you'll be in a group of individual guys uh, and, and you're moving together and you're moving quick. So everybody's getting through that lift and then we'll all move to the next station together. And everybody will go through and we'll flow through the weight room that way. It's fast, it's efficient. Uh, and you'll hear us talk about pace and tempo a lot. We get to stay fast and explosive. Uh, and then the number one word that you're gonna hear down in the weight room and in anything in our strength and conditioning program is compete. Compete level is a huge point of emphasis for us here at Husson, not only on the field, but it's just important in the weight room. If you're a competitor and you're a football player, then you know how to compete. And that means, you know, if you try to do a weight and you're not able to get it, then you're going to come back again and you're going to get it that next time. We want to see you compete in every aspect of life, not only football, uh, not only academics and all that, but also the weight room and our strength and conditioning program. Offensively, guys, we have a really fun style of offense. Uh, we're going to be a really tough team every week. Uh, we're going to play a really physical brand of football, and we're going to be really aggressive in the pass game. Uh, we would consider ourselves a blend between a pro-style offense and a spread offense. Uh, what that means is, is we're pretty versatile. We do a lot of different things. Our, burst, our 
base personnel is 11, uh, which means one tight end, one running back, and three receivers. Um, we'll mix it up. We'll run, you know, four and five receiver sets, and we'll run, you know, big heavy sets down on the goal line. Um, our philosophy is the run sets up the pass, and the pass sets up the run. If you want to be a great offense, you've got to be great at both. Um, in our run game specifically, uh, we do some zone blocking, and but really we like to be aggressive, you know, drive block. Uh, we, we like to pull and let guys be physical, let our offensive linemen have some fun. Um, our running backs are, are pretty versatile where they could run some outside zone, they could run some ISO and, and do some different things. Um, but the bottom line, whatever we're doing in the run game, it's going to be physical. Offensively, uh, as, as far as our pass game goes, we're going to be very aggressive. We like to try to ISO our receivers, get them in one-on-one -on -one situations, isolate our tight ends, um, do a lot of play action, different things like that. Every run concept that we have, we're going to have a pass concept off of it. So it might be an RPO that week. It might be a play action pass. In every run, in every pass concept we have, we're going to have some sort of draw off of that. Or, you know, if it's a heavy pass formation, we're going to have some run plays out of that. Um, really, we, we want to be able to set up the run game with the pass game and set up the pass game with the run game. Um, as far as playing quarterback in our offense, um, you've got to be a great leader. You've got to be smart. You've got to be tough. And you've got to be a great decision maker. Um, running backs for us, all of them have got to be tough. They've got to be the most competitive guys on the team. You know, you've got to be prepared to to carry the ball 30, 40 times a game. And, and, and you know, in some situations, um, our tight ends are very versatile. Uh, they'll play some receiver. They'll play some H back. They'll play tight end. Um, they'll really do it all. Uh, our wide receivers are physical, tough players. You know, number one thing to, to play receiver for us is you have to be able to block. Now, you're going to have a lot of opportunities to go and catch some deep passes and catch the ball in space and have a lot of fun. But if you're not blocking, you know, you won't be able to play for us because we value the run game so much. Um, as far as our offensive line, number one, you got to be tough. If you're tough, you have what it takes to play offensive line for us. Uh, number two is you, you got to be smart. Um, you know, if you have those two things and you're willing to work every day and keep getting better and better, uh, you could play offensive line for us. Any position you play here at Hudson, you better be competitive. You better be a great teammate, um, and, and you better be physically tough and, and willing to work. All right. Now it's time to talk about defense. Our scheme on defense is we are a 3-4 up front, and we have a two-high safety scheme. In addition to that, our philosophy on defense is we're very multiple on how we generate pressure. Our goals, pre-snap, is to create confusion. We like to move around, and we like to send a lot of varieties of pressure. Our post-snap goal is to create takeaways. We want to always be seeking takeaways, whether on the ground or in the air. We're constantly seeking those. In addition, this leads to our game day goals. For game day, we would like to get 10 stops and three takeaways. And what a stop is, is getting the ball back to the offense without a score. On average, offenses will have 12 series a game. Our goal is to get off 10 of those in addition to seek three takeaways. When breaking down our position groups, our defensive line, we ask them to do a lot of different things. We like to stem and move around pre-snap to try to create confusion for the offensive line and any tight ends on the line of scrimmage. In addition, we ask them to get a lot of vertical disruption and to cause chaos on the defensive line. At the second level, we ask them to flow and generate pressure by constantly changing who we're sending to bring our fourth rusher. In the back end, we ask the DBs to pattern read and then constantly create and force takeaways. In addition, we ask the DBs to be physical on blocks and shed those blocks to assist on RPOs. Our defense is very aggressive and we constantly seek takeaways. Up next, we will take you on an athletic facilities tour and show you our state-of-the-art athletic facilities here at Hudson University. Enjoy.
Welcome back, guys. Hope you enjoyed that tour. Uh, right now, we're going to have uh, Coach Brainer move you guys through the campus tour. How you doing, guys? Uh, we're going to start the campus tour here. We're just going to go through some of the, uh, the, the most important places on campus for our football guys. Um, obviously, we have a really beautiful campus uh, right in Bangor, Maine. Um, I'm really looking forward to getting to show you guys this the campus in person. This is the Dickerman Dining Center. Um, the, the food is outstanding here. This is where our guys are going to meet to eat the majority of their meals. Um, the staff is super friendly um, and everybody's really welcoming. Um, we have great hours so you can, you know, eat before class. You'll have plenty of time to eat after practice and all those sorts of things. There's also a few other places on campus that you're able to eat. Um, so, you know, if the Dickerman is closed by the time you get there, there's other options right on campus available to you all the time. Uh, the, Here's a picture of a typical classroom for us. This is actually one of our largest classrooms on, on campus. Um, our average class size is only around 20 students, so you wouldn't typically be in a class this large. Um, our, our class sizes are, are great. They're very conducive to small classroom setting learning, um, opportunities to ask professors questions during class. You'll never be in one of those huge lecture halls that you sometimes see in the movies where you know there's 200 students and everybody's just a name on a, on a sheet of paper. Uh, as far as housing goes, uh, we, have, we have some great options on campus. Um, we have the standard dorm setting. Uh, we also have suites on campus and townhouses. Um, the great thing about our standard dorms is all of our buildings have been recently renovated. Uh, part of that renovation was all new beds and dressers, uh, fresh paint and all the walls. Um, we also, maybe the, the number one sell is, is uh, we also now have free laundry in all the buildings, which is definitely a nice perk. Um, the townhouses are, are only four years old. Uh, they're beautiful. As, uh, as you get older in your career, junior, senior year, you'll have the option to live in those. Um, we also have a lot of our students live off campus as well. Next, you guys are going to hear from three of our great leaders. And our staff philosophy is pretty simple. When your best players are also your best leaders, great things will happen. You're going to hear from Tyler Halls, Frank Curran, and Jake Cameron. And I couldn't think of three better examples of our program. Hi, I'm Tyler Halls, senior wide receiver for Hudson University. Um, I study criminal justice here at Hudson, and I decided to go to Hudson University because just a very high, um, high competition level at D3, good football program. I'm very close with the coaches, so it was a really good fit for me, and it's been the best three years of my life. So come here, compete, and it's a great school. My name is Frank Kern, senior defensive end, studying marketing management at Hudson University. And three main reasons why I chose to play football at Hudson University was one being the tradition of winning. Hudson holds high expectations on the football field and I felt like I could help contribute towards that success. Two, the coaching staff. The coaching staff has contributed countless hours to help elevate my game to a level which I didn't believe was possible. And I don't feel like I'd be the player that I am today without them. Three, the teammates. The teammates at Hudson compete and push each other every day because we all have one goal, and that's to win. So if you're willing to put in the work and compete, I hope to see you on the field this fall. My name is Jacob Cameron, left tackle, Hudson University. Hudson's a really special place on and off the field. Not only do we win conference championships and play competitive Division Three football, but we build relationships with teachers, coaches, teammates, and staff members that last. The winning culture here at HU is what really drew me in. It's one of the main reasons why I chose to come to Hudson. That winning culture began with the teams before us, and we continue to build off that year after year, not only on the field, but in the weight room and in the classroom. When you choose Hudson, be ready to leave your mark and be special every day. Those who stay will be champions. Hello, everyone. My name is Keyshawn Robinson and I'm an all-purpose player at Hustle University. I'm from Brooklyn, New York, and currently major in criminal justice. One word that I would use to describe Hustle is success. Not only do we have a winning culture here, which I've experienced three championships within the last four years, but I've also created bonds and relationships with teammates, coaches, staff, teachers that are completely unforgettable. We get pushed to new limits, work hard every single day, and have a great family-oriented community. So if you decide to come here and join our family and be part of this legacy, We'll be glad to have you. If you or your family have interest in Zooming with members of our coaching staff here at Hudson University, please reach out to us by email, by phone, or by social media 
so we can set up a day and a time that works for everyone. We look forward to Zooming with you one-on-one -on -one and to answer any questions you may have. We'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch our virtual junior visit. We look forward to having you and your family on campus very soon. Our football program really is looking for three things in a prospect. Number one, we're looking for great people. Number two, we're looking for prospects that want to graduate from college. That degree means a lot. And three, we're looking for prospects that love the game of football. As we all know, football is a tough game. And the commitment and sacrifice it takes to play at the college level also needs the love. And we'll look for guys that love the game. If you can't live without football, our program could be a great place for you. The next step for you is, is, is to reach out here to your football, your football recruiting coach here at Husson. You can also follow us on social media, on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and we're just an email or phone call away. Again, we appreciate your time, and thank you for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you here on campus very soon.